Buckle up for an action-packed look at the AGM-114 Hellfire, a top-notch air-to-ground missile and a key player in the U.S. military's arsenal. Made by Lockheed Martin Corporation, this missile, famously called the badass missile worth $100,000, is known for hitting its targets with incredible precision. Today, we're diving into the heart of the Hellfire's power. We'll explore how it works, why it's so effective, and the huge impact it has in battle. Get ready for a gripping journey into the world of the AGM-114 Hellfire, where advanced technology meets fierce combat power. Hello and welcome to our deep dive into the AGM-114 Hellfire, the missile that's more than just a $100,000 price tag. Today we're unraveling the mystery behind this military marvel. Let's start with the essentials. What makes the missile a game changer? The AGM-114 Hellfire, a Lockheed Martin innovation, is a chameleon in the world of weaponry. It's launched from various platforms, helicopters, drones, even ground systems, adapting effortlessly to each. This missile is known for its spot-on accuracy and adaptability in diverse combat scenarios. But there's more to it than just being tough and precise. What really elevates the Hellfire above the rest? Stick with us and let's explore the unique aspects of the AGM-114 Hellfire that have cemented its status in modern warfare. The Hellfire missile's been very useful in anti-tank missions because it can go through even the thickest armored vehicles. In addition, it can be used against buildings, bunkers, and other protected areas. Before anything else, the Hellfire rocket is a very small weapon that has a big effect despite its small size. It's about 5 feet long and weighs about 100 pounds. But don't be fooled by how small it is. It has a weapon that can do a lot of damage. The most common type of Hellfire, the AGM-114R, has a blast fragmentation explosive that weighs about 20 pounds. As soon as this warhead goes off, it could create a deadly impact radius that could destroy enemy targets with exact accuracy. It's armed with them and has a range of up to 8 kilometers. Its warhead weighs 9 kilograms and is very strong. The Hellfire has also been shown to be useful in terrorist operations, where it's been shown to kill high-value targets with little damage to other people. There are many amazing things about the Hellfire, and one of them is how accurate it is at a long range. With a range of up to 5 miles, this missile can hit targets from a safe distance. This lowers the operator's risk and gives them an edge in the battle. The Hellfire can go as fast is 1,000 miles per hour, which means it'll get wherever it needs to go in the blink of an eye. Information about the design and features of the AGM-114 Hellfire II missile. This is a metal airframe with two sets of cruciform wings that holds the payload and the equipment inside. There are five parts that make up the airframe. They're the laser seeker, the warhead, the guidance system, the motor section, and the control section. In terms of size, the Hellfire II missile is 1.62 meters long, 17.7 centimeters wide, and has wings that are 0.71 meters wide. Because they have the Hellfire II Air-to-Ground Missile System, or AGMS, attack helicopters can take out a lot of armor. Each Hellfire weighs between 45.4 and 49 kilograms, which includes a multifunctional warhead that weighs 8 to 9 kilos. It can go in three different directions, giving it a range of 8, 7.1, and 11 kilometers. Therefore, Hellfire 2 can lock onto targets either before or after launch, which makes the platform more defensive. And the AGM-114 missile is made to go after armored vehicles. It has a charged warhead that looks like a cone and a copper liner cone that makes the jet that goes through armor. During the fiscal year 1998, Congress set aside $20 million to buy 100 AGM-114M missiles and 100 CATM-114K training missiles. It was concluded that all 114K CATM rockets had been delivered in April 2000. The first AGM-114 missiles were sent out in December 2000. $20 million were added during the fiscal year of 2000 so that 225 more AGM-114K missiles could be bought to make up for holes in the inventory. It sounds like a truly multi-purpose weapon. Here are some examples from real life to show how useful it is. No question about it, in one very important case, the AGM-114 Hellfire helped destroy enemy tanks and other protected vehicles during Operation Desert Storm. The coalition troops eventually won because this helped tip the scales in their favor. It also has been used a lot in Afghanistan to kill Taliban high-value targets. Let's talk about the technical advances that have been made in order to understand what makes the AGM-114 Hellfire such a powerful weapon. 
The AGM-114 Hellfire is different from other types of weapons that are already out there, but the most important thing is the technology. Over the years, the Hellfire has gone through a number of changes that have made it a very dangerous enemy. Besides the laser guidance it used at first, it's grown to include other guidance systems like millimeter wave radar, a semi-active laser, and a global positioning system. This is what makes the Hellfire so good at hitting its targets with great accuracy. There's an extremely high level of accuracy with which this missile can track and hit its target, whether it's a moving tank, a heavily guarded building, or even a fast boat. Because of this, it's a very flexible weapon that can be used in a wide range of battle situations, even when the weather's bad. It really is a marvel of technology. The collaborative efforts and future developments of AGM-114 Hellfire. The Army, the Navy, and the Air Force are the three parts of the U.S. Armed Forces that work together to make the AGM-114 Hellfire. Because of this relationship, a weapon has been made that has completely changed the way modern battles are fought. Still, what does the Hellfire have planned for the future? There are also plans to combine it with advanced network-centric warfare systems. This will make sure that everyone works together smoothly and gives soldiers more power on the ground. Even though the AGM-114 Hellfire missile is mostly known for its use in war situations, it's important to remember that it can also be used in humanitarian situations. Due to its high level of precision and accuracy, the Hellfire is a good weapon for surgical strikes, which help cut down on civilian deaths and damage. The Hellfire can be very useful in situations where the military needs to step in to protect innocent people or kill dangerous targets. The missile's ability to destroy specific targets while having little effect on the area around them has been very useful in both counterterrorism operations and military missions. Making things safer in a certain way helps make places that have been damaged safer for people who live there and for groups that help them do their jobs. Because it's so flexible and accurate, the AGM-114 Hellfire can be used not only on the front lines of fights, but also to protect lives and bring order to places where there's a lot of unrest. As our look into the AGM-114 Hellfire missile comes to a close, we have a better understanding of its huge range of abilities and its use in modern warfare. This badass rocket, which costs $100,000, has earned its place as a powerful weapon in the U.S. military arsenal thanks to its powerful firepower and advanced guidance systems. The Hellfire has shown over and over again that it can hit its targets precisely and accurately, whether they're high-value targets, fortified positions, or armored vehicles. Of course, its main purpose is to be used in military activities, but we also need to recognize that it could be used for good causes. It can be used in these situations to protect the lives of innocent people and bring peace to places where there's strife. The Hellfire Missile Family There are two other types of Hellfire missiles in the AGM-114 family, the Longbow Hellfire and the Hellfire II. These missiles use millimeter wave radar to guide them, and their anti-armor charge is the same as the Hellfire 2's. The AH-64D Apache Longbow Helicopter counts on the Longbow Hellfire a lot when it comes to anti-tank missiles. Thank you for joining us today, and remember to stay tuned for more captivating insights into military technology on our channel.